Welcome back. We want to get you straight into the details and more details of what's going to happen with Tropical Storm Hone as far as timing and impacts. Right now we have weather alert days set up for Saturday, Sunday and Monday because we could start to see some of those impacts, especially for the big island starting tomorrow already. That's going to be in terms of rain, some damaging wind and of course dangerous ocean conditions. There is already a flood watch in effect for the big island as well as a tropical storm watch by Saturday afternoon into Saturday night we could see around six inches of rain wind could be around 25 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour that'll lead into sunday as it works its way over maui county as well and then including oahu and Kauai sunday into monday and uh, before it go ahead goes ahead and trickles out we can look at the forecasted rainfall here i'll stop it around here's 11 p.m on saturday you can see the rainfall in mountain view already reaching almost six inches there he almost four inches still okay down the rest of the island chain playing forward this is going to be into monday afternoon uh, we're going to be reaching almost nine inches nine to ten inches for mountain view almost seven inches for maui uh, almost two inches for pukalani and then even over on Kauai, getting some of that rainfall almost two inches for hanale and princeville still looking okay here on oahu but that doesn't rule out some uh in I would say persi persistent rainfall across the windward sides, especially. And this is the probability of tropical uh, force winds and how far it could reach out. Earlier, I said those bands around the center of the storm right here reach out about 115 miles outward. So uh, anywhere around that circumference is going to feel some of those impacts. So you can see the probability of each island getting some gustier winds is pretty high. We're going to feel a difference for sure and a shift in those winds as well as the swell. I want to get you some details as well. We've got some updates in the Eastern Pacific. This is Hurricane Gilma. It has downgraded from this morning from a Category 3 to a Category 2 storm now with sustained winds of 105 miles per hour, still moving slowly to the west at 9 miles per hour. And you can see as each day goes on, it's going to continue to weaken as it moves into our Central Pacific waters. You can see this is the edge of the Big Island right there. Its track is going to be moving north of the island chain, and it's going to be a remnant low at that time. So we might have some of those run uh, mixing up with our trade wind weather and there's this disturbance right behind it that has an 80% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days.